everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy Christmas Eve. Today's video I'm super excited because I'm going to be getting all dressed up and doing my hair and makeup so I decided that I would just do like a fun chatty get ready with me for Christmas Eve so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. I'm starting off now with my makeup so I think I'm going to go for a soft glam look. Christmas Eve is my absolute favorite day of the whole entire year so I'm going to get a little bit festive for it, something different than what I normally do. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start off with primer. I don't normally use primer, but today is a, an exception because it's a special day. So I'm using this little sample that I got from Sephora because it just feels really fancy. It's called Lore Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold. So this is it here. And I'm basically just going to use this as my base before I put my foundation on. It has actual little specks of gold in it. It's so cool. Now we're gonna hop right into foundation. So the foundation that I've currently been loving is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. I have it in the shade 1.5 Fair. I'm just going to take some of this out onto my hand and then I'm going to take my brush, dip it, and just start buffing that into my skin. This foundation is really great. It's super light. It's not a very heavy foundation, which I like. It doesn't offer a ton of coverage. It's pretty sheer, but honestly, that's kind of what I like about it. And you can build it up a little bit, but I really love the finish of this foundation. It's super nice. I can't believe that Christmas is actually tomorrow. It's so crazy. This year feels like it's taken so long to finish, but it also feels like it's gone by really quick. I don't know if that makes sense. Is that just me? Okay, so that's all blended in now. So I'm going to move on to concealer. The first concealer that I'm going to use is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. And I have mine in the shade 2 Fair. This one I use for under my eyes. I love this concealer. It is probably the best concealer I've ever had. But my one complaint is that there's virtually no product in it for the price that you pay. And it's really hard to justify spending the money on something that you use so often that's so expensive. But I do think it's incredible and I'm sad that I'm almost out of it. So I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. I'm Italian, so Christmas Eve is much bigger for us normally than Christmas Day. We normally do most of our celebrating today. I mean, we open presents tomorrow morning, but Christmas Eve is the really big day with the feast and everything like that. And I'm kind of sad that this year it's going to be so different because if Christmas Eve really is my favorite day of the whole entire year. So I'm sad that it looks so different this year, but that's okay. We're still going to swing by my Zianzios and my Nona Nonos and drop off some gifts just on the porch. So at least we'll still get to see them from afar, which is nice. And my cousins, hi Ashley and Melissa if you're watching. Now for spot concealment, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have the shade 15 Light. So I use this one for spots because I just find it matches my skin color a little bit better. Whereas the other one's a lot brighter, so I put it under my eyes. Sorry, just looking at the mirror. <laughs> I have some really big things planned for my channel in the new year that I cannot wait for you guys to see. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so, because I'm so excited. I have some really fun content coming up, and a lot of big things are in the works that I'm super excited about. This isn't a tutorial, by the way, because I kind of suck at makeup. This is just for fun. <laughs> so next I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Loose Finishing Powder. <sighs> and I'm just going to take some of this under my eyes and around. So I like to make sure that my eye area does not crease. I hate when that happens. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. 
And I'm also just gonna do it over where I put concealer. So next I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. I have my Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm just gonna take this on a contour brush and I'm gonna go into the hollows of my cheeks first. Do the same thing on the other side. Then brush it up into my hairline to create some depth on the face. And then I'm just going to quickly contour my nose. And then I'm going to blend that out so that there's no harsh lines. I want everything to look really soft and princessy. That's the look that I'm going for today, kind of princessy. Next, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Blush, and I have this one in the shade Ecstasy. So I'm going to swirl my brush around on the outside color, and I'm going to use that pretty much where you would put a highlight. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And then I'm gonna take the middle color and I'm just gonna pop that onto the apples of my cheeks. There. Next I am gonna do highlights. So I've got my Benefit Watts Up Highlighter. This is probably one of my favorite highlighters of all time. I just really love how natural it looks, but I think it's also like super, super pretty and gives you just the right amount of shine on your face. There's no heavy chunks of glitter in it or anything. And it's super nice. So now I'm just gonna blend that out. Look how pretty that is. I think it's gorgeous. One of my favorite products, I must say. Next I'm gonna do brows. I normally don't do very much to my brows. Um, but I do normally do this. So I've got my Anastasia Brow Wiz, and I have this in the shade Soft Brown. So first I'm just going to comb them up and shape them the way that I like. My eyebrows are pretty, like, full. I don't really need to do much filling in, but I am just going to do a little tiny bit. And now I'm just going to set that in place with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Set. Okay, so now I'm gonna do an eye look. I haven't been doing eye looks lately, so this should be fun. I'm gonna start off by using the Too Faced Natural Nudes palette. I really like this palette for like neutral colors. It's really pretty and it's got a lot of really pretty shimmers in it as well. So I think I'm going to start with the shade Swan and I'm just gonna dip my brush in this and take this all over the base of my eyelid. Oh, there's a delivery. I'm waiting for something specific, but I'm not gonna tell you guys because it's gonna be a very exciting video in the new year, so I wanna surprise you, but it's supposed to come today, so I wonder if that's what that is. Anyways, now I'm gonna dip into the shade Nude here and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade, so I'm gonna take this into the crease and then work its way in, mostly on the outer and then work my way into the inner corner. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Here, I want to take a glitter shade, but I'm not really sure which one. Hmm, I think I'm going to do the sparkling sand color, and I'm just going to take this on my finger, because I find that's the way that they best apply. Alright, so that's that palette done. I think I'm just going to do a little inner corner highlight now with this Charlotte Tilbury Mesmerizing Maroon palette. I love this palette. It's one of my favorites, but I think I used it in one of my last makeup videos, so I wanted to switch it up for you guys. I'm just going to dip into this shade right here, and I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corner. All finished. So I've kind of given up on wearing mascara as an everyday type of thing, but for special offense, I still do wear mascara, and the one that I wear is the Dior Show Waterproof Mascara, and I wear this one in the shade Catwalk Brown. I personally prefer brown mascaras to black, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm super careful when I apply this because I hate the way mascara smudges and gets all over everything. That's why I kind of gave up on wearing it, but... Today is a special day, and I definitely don't do the bottom lashes because that just makes me look like a little raccoon. Good. 
that's good enough. So now all that's left is lips. I'm gonna start off with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Liner in the shade Pillow Talk. And I'm gonna blend that out just a tiny bit with my finger. I don't usually do red lips and I'm still not gonna do red lips, so I don't know why I said that, but I am gonna do a darker pink today than I normally do. I'm gonna use the shade Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk Medium, so it's a little bit darker. I'm not gonna put on any gloss just in case I have to wear a mask. And now I'm gonna finish off the look with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Let that dry for a second, and then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend that out. Press it into the skin so that it melts my makeup together and holds. So that's it for makeup. Now I'm going to get dressed. Just before I get dressed, I just want to quickly show you guys the fragrance that I'm going to be using today. So this is from Bath & Body Works. It's called Dahlia, and it's honestly such a beautiful scent, and I love it. And the reason why I chose to wear this today is because it has like so much glitter and sparkle in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really great and very festive for Christmas. Mmm, it smells so nice. Okay, you guys, so this is the outfit that I'm wearing today. You might recognize this. I wore it in my festive Christmas lookbook, and I also handmade this outfit myself. It was inspired by an outfit that Blair wears on Gossip Girl, and I haven't really gotten the chance to wear it out since I made it during quarantine. And since I am going to be seeing some family today just from afar, I thought I would show it off. And you can't see, but I've actually got on little white bow tights to go with it and then the little pearl headband that I've been wearing this whole video. I decided I'm not gonna do much to my hair because it's straight and I don't really wanna curl it or anything. I think this is gonna look good with my little earmuffs that I'm bringing. Staying warm. <laughs> but yeah, this is the finished look. Anyways, I just wanna wish you all a very merry, well, I'm gonna see you again tomorrow, so happy Christmas Eve. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!